today's session with singing some nursery rhymes. Have a little look at my nursery garden because I'm going to be taking one of my characters away and I want you to see if you can work out who has gone missing. Have a little look. Have another look now and see if you can work out who is missing and which nursery rhyme we're going to be singing today. Yes, the little mouse has gone missing, hasn't it? Shall we sing Hickory Dickory Dock? After three, one, two, three. Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mice ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock, tick tock, tick tock. Let's do it again. Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck one, the mice ran down, hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock. Well done. Well, little mouse is back on his clock, but somebody else is missing. Can you see who's missing now? Have a little look. Yes, it's my little fish. Shall we sing a song about a little fish? It goes like this. One, two, three, four, five. One cycle to fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on the right. Would you like to join in this time? Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. One cycle to fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on the right. Dragon is back to help with our game odd one out. So we are looking for the picture that has a different sound at the end of its word to the other two. You're going to help Dragon then? Come on, out of your wagon. Dragon does like his wagon. Right then, Dragon, let's have a look. We have jug, mug, carrot. That's jug, mug, carrot. Which word do you think has a different ending to the other two, Dragon? Have a look. Carrot. Ah, Dragon said carrot. Do you agree? Jug and mug have ug at the end, don't they? But carrot has an ut. So well done, Dragon. You're right. What a clever dragon. Let's try another one. This time we have parrot. Spoon, moon. That's parrot, spoon, moon. Dragon, which do you think is yours one out this time? Have a look. Parrot. Ah, so dragon said parrot. Do you think dragon's right? Do you think parrot is the odd one out? Well, mm, spoon and moon rhyme, don't they? They have an oon at the end, but parrot has an ut. So I think parrot is the odd one out. So well done, dragon. Let's play Move Into The Beat. So today, I want you to hop on one leg if I play my tambourine, and I want you to jump up high like a kangaroo when I play my toy saxophone. Are you ready? Did you hop on one leg? Did you jump up high like a kangaroo? That was much slower, wasn't it? Well done. Chef Pickles is back. Can you say hello to Chef Pickles? 
Hello everybody. So Chef Pickles, can you help me make some more stew today? Yes I can. Okay, let's sing our song. What shall I do? What shall I do? I want to make some pretend stew. Put in a toy man. Okay. What shall I do? What shall I do? I want to make some pretend stew. Put in a can. So can you remember what we've put in our pot so far? We've put in a man and a can. What shall I do? What shall I do? I want to make some pretend stew. Put in a fan. So children, can you remember all the things we've put in our stew today? Shall we have a look? We put in a toy man, a fan and a can. So do you notice anything special about the words? Listen carefully. Man, fan, can. Which sound can you hear at the end? Chef Pickles, which sound can you hear at the end? An. That's right, Chef Pickles. We've made some an soup. But I think we'd better put it back in the pot now, haven't we? In goes the can. In goes the fan. And in goes the toy man. Our stew is now cooking. Okay, Chef Pickles, I can do that. Chef Pickles has asked me to remind you that we have made pretend stew for the teddy bears and that we are not able to eat it. It's time to play with some words. I've brought two objects along today. I've brought a camera. We use a camera to take photographs. And I've brought my binoculars. We use binoculars to look through to see things that are a long way away. So let's try and clap the word camera and find out how many parts or syllables there are. You ready? Camera. So how many parts to the word camera? Listen again. Camera. Yes, there were three claps. So there are three parts. Let's try now with binoculars. Binoculars. That's a long word, isn't it? Listen again. Binoculars. There were four claps that time. You try now. Try and clap the word camera. Camera. And now try binoculars. Binoculars. Well done. Now I'm going to clap without saying the words and I want you to see if you can work out which word I'm clapping. You ready? Do you know what that was? That was camera. Listen to the next one. What do you think that was? Binoculars. Let's have a quick game of I Spy. Our objects today are dog, fox, man. I spy with my little eye something that rhymes with fan. Do you think it's fan, dog, fan, fox, fan, man? Which one do you think rhymes? Man and fan both have an at the ends of their words. They are the two that rhyme. 
Well, we have reached the end of the sessions on rhyming, but I hope you will continue to learn nursery rhymes and play rhyming games. We look forward to seeing you again soon for our new subject. But for now, it's bye bye from dragon in a wagon, parrot with a carrot, fox on a box, and frog on a log. Bye.